What's going on guys? I've been trying to think of how to do this video, but I feel like I just gotta get my feet wet and just throw myself into the wolves. Phase three. Phase three is like the hardest thing in the game to do because it just takes so long. Actually, I, I shouldn't say it's hard, it's just time consuming, right? Uh, with the limited amount of stamina that we get on a daily basis, it's been uh, well apparent that we need to have the most efficient way to get our characters up to phase three. Uh, obviously phase two, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like it's not really that crazy to do. I know some people save resources and things like that, but I kind of wanted to just look at this and um, what is the best way to do this? Obviously, when you're trying to get these, you're not using gold, so just stack up your gold in the meantime. You need 500K, well, 560K, but it's still a lot. It's definitely a lot. One thing I'm gonna say first and foremost is to just do one at a time. Utilize your stamina to <laughs> just to go over one thing at a time. I like to use the, the materials first because the gold I feel like you're gonna get over time other things are gonna get you gold so you don't really need to focus on it per se until you need to but what else do you need to do so let's check these out so first thing are the gonna be these uh, this rank up material now this is obviously exclusive to her if I go to a, another character there we go I was trying to find another character uh, here we go so EMP she has completely different requirements these things are always tiered up so she uses the organic uh, assist and she uses uh, the ice ice stone concentrate. These things go up from a uh, rarity level from gray, green, blue, and then up to up until purple. So when you are looking at a character that you want to invest on, just keep that in mind when you're doing all the other things that I'm about to mention. So this one, let's go to the item fusion. This one, like I said, green, uh, sorry, gray, green, blue, and then the purple. Now, if you noticed here, you cannot at all by the way just let's let's just be honest here you can't grind this you can't you can only get this from grinding the materials that grant it right so what does that mean that means that you pretty much have to farm these things and you pretty much should just go farm the highest tier which is blue don't waste time grinding these and i'm going to show you exactly why so the blue whatever stage that you're on obviously you get the highest stage you're gonna go there and you're just gonna rate it until you get it so guaranteed drops I think is not blue but green and then one of these little packages I'm only gonna raid a couple times here because I might need to show you guys something else so as you can see it's telling me how many of the blues I need for what I'm trying to do which is 27 but I'm only gonna do three raids here and I'm not gonna get 27 I might not even get one here I actually get ended up getting one and I leveled up, which I didn't want. Okay, there we go, back to the screen. So as you can see, you're not gonna always get this. And as you can see, we, you're gonna get, when it shows that gray chest, it just says that you're gonna get a gray uh, thing, a random gray thing. So we got some Twilight Stones, we got some, uh, this thing, which is for ranking up other characters. You're gonna get the targeted stuff. You're gonna always get the targeted green. Every single time you're gonna get the green, and then you might get a blue. I'm assuming, and I don't know for sure, I'm assuming that the rates of the blue go up as you go in the higher, which is supposed to incentivize you to keep going up in the rank so it makes this easier. The more you play, the easier it is to stay, I'm just saying. So, what is the, the conversion of that? I think I have it written down here. I do, because I'm such a cool guy. So, one blue, sorry, to make one purple. Sorry, this is what we need to know. To make one purple, you're gonna need three blues. And then the multiplication uh, goes up from that. So three. Now for uh, green, you need nine greens. It actually says it here. You can kind of see it. You need nine greens. And then you need 27 grays, right? So you're never going to be looking to actually farm out grays. You need way too many of them. I haven't done the math as far as if it actually is mana efficient to just farm the grays. But I do also want to mention that these, uh, though you can't get the purple, uh, these things actually usually come in the supply chest that you get and this is gonna where be the second more important thing that I want to talk about we're gonna go over to the guild secret society your guild is actually gonna be super important uh, why so we know that as far as what I'm looking for right is this these are the things that I'm looking for and as you can see I can ax my guild for 10 of these at a time uh, I can ask them for 10 of these at a time, which is the greens, and I can ask them for only five of these at a time. So we know that if I were to happen to get someone to refill this request would be great. It gives me one a day, which is fantastic, right? I'm sorry, it will grant me the ability to fuse one purple a day. 
but the odds that they have someone else has this and is willing to give it to you is extremely low what you do see by the way what do you do see when i just showed you the the raid is that the gray comes randomly there are people that will have this randomly and if you want to like, see this person is actually for a green i only have two of those I really don't have the ability. Sorry, I have three. I really don't have the ability to really give uh, give someone this. I really don't have the ability to do that. But there's a possibility that if I go through a lot of my grays that I might not be using because I, like I said, focus on one character. I have 14 of these <laughs> uh, already, and I, I am not focusing on it. How many of these? 25. How many of these? 20. Uh, 14. Uh, so as you can see, as you oh, look at that, I can give a billion of these away. And yes, it takes 27, but not only does it help your guild because every time you donate, like uh, I was gonna actually make a video saying, hey, everyone should just put skill module up there. You do need a ton of skill modules, but every time you donate, you get a progression to the guild and you get free money. So it's uh, you should definitely be going on to what is easier for you to donate uh, as long as it doesn't kill you. Putting blues here, I think is just not smart. <laughs> People don't have blues to give you. And also you can't really get too many of them in the first place. Like, as you can see, I think you can ask four or five and if they don't request, if they don't fulfill the request, it's not that good anyway. So just ask people for their grades. They're useless grades because if, as long as they're not building it, they're not using it. So they can easily give you grades. For this example, I'm actually going to put this and I'm gonna probably put every day for them to give me the, the gray. So yes, it will take me two days or so to get that. But remember, I'm also gonna be getting grays as I'm playing too. And that's just the one first thing I wanted to mention. Now, since I am still here in the guild shop, I wanted to bring out the, the exchange. I'm gonna go and just go through all the exchange, but we're gonna start with the guild exchange first. Now, every time you can get 20 a month, uh, you could just get 20 of these. So that's gonna go straight towards <laughs> what you're trying to do. That's actually how I got my knocks instantaneously to uh, phase three by just doing this now are you gonna get one phase three a month no i think you can actually get if i'm not mistaken maybe two possibly even three depending on how good you are with your resource management and how this video might start helping you uh we'll see in december right but on a low level when your guild first starts out you can only get a few things here not too much not too little uh well yeah too little actually uh but you can get a decent amount four thousand like these things are nuts like if you're looking to get money or you need mania essence this is where you're gonna go, by the way. I have 730, I can easily clear this out a little bit further, but I didn't wanna do that. Now, when you get to mid-level, you can actually get gray, and then you can get green. <laughs> Not too expensive for you at all. So yes, look at this, now you can get it, and then you can almost guess what happens next. When you get a high level, once your guild reach level six, now you can actually request the blues for free. So the higher, again, the longer you play, it's easier to stay. So if you're in a really good guild, by the way, my guild is full, but I actually delete people on a daily basis if I see that they're not playing. <laughs> if they're not donating and they're not doing anything, I'm deleting them because I need that. Especially when the guild content comes into the game, I'm gonna need that. So this is really important to your growth. Uh, imagine having, what is this, uh, stacks of buck to do blue. You only need three, every three is a thing. And then boom, you just do the monthly and then you get, uh, what is that, at least six? I might, I'm doing the math quickly, but at least six purples from just this chest right here. But let's go, let's go even further. So as you're summoning, you know you're going to be getting uh, the lovely uh, purple. The blue, uh, the yellow essence is a little bit harder to get. Uh, but as you can see, it, it does allow you to get this. Now, do I recommend you use it on this? I could actually get four of these instantaneously right now. I don't think so. Uh, this character, uh, Zoya, she does rotate. So this character rotates. So... I feel bad because I, I don't I don't have nearly enough to get her. If you wanted but, to rationalize it, maybe to get your center marks or something like that, maybe, I don't know how people want to rationalize it, but I just wanted to mention that you could also utilize this to get your phase up stuff. So let's say you're already happy with your account. It's really hard to invest into characters to begin with, right? So me getting Zoya is literally just me getting her to sit on the bench, right? I would love to do it. <laughs> But I can also understand why some people will be like, I'm not gonna get this because I might just get her on a summon and that might just be, that might be good enough for me. Let me utilize this currency to get the stuff that helps me phase up my characters. And then with me using phase up, I can, you know, rinse and repeat uh, is how I'm saying it. But keep in mind, even the, the, the initial one allows you to get what? Here it is, the greens. So the greens, and you're gonna have a lot. So. <laughs> As you can see, let's just for this example, boom. 
Let me max that out. That's monthly. Just boom. I'm, I'm on my way. I'm making my way downtown. Walking fine. Face is found in a homebound. All that good stuff. And again, the, the disc coins you can get is nuts. This is infinite, by the way, once you actually do the, I think, the reduced one. But yeah, even this, Mad Mania Crystals. You don't have to worry about that stuff at all is what I'm trying to tell you. Worry about the the items, the materials. Friendship. By the And of course, here we go. So you got the, the low-level stuff here. More gold, more mania a thing. So make sure you're spamming that friends list. Sample. Oh, yeah, no, this is uh, completely something different. Now, let's go over to the event. I feel terrible. Terrible that I didn't get to farm the event as much as I wanted to. I, I really didn't pay too much attention to it. I couldn't do the extracurricular stuff, which would have gave me more tickets. But guys, these events are super important. This is a first event, and gacha games are extremely lazy, so you can know for a fact that most of the events are gonna be in the same similar format. Look how much mania you get. I, I, or, or, I, I think I maxed out See, I didn't even max out the one that I needed. I think I did something. Oh, you know what? This might have been for Knox, to be honest. But yeah, the ability to get some purples of things that you want. Oh no, this one they had it specific purples. But if you if it's not the character you're working on, hey, check this out. Look at how much gold and look at how much of these you can get. That is a lot. That is a lot. Just saying. So definitely utilize the utilize. The event, the, especially the next one that comes up, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be based around Arene and what she needs to level. So even if you don't want that character, save those resources for a spellcaster unit that you probably really want. I'm pretty sure it's going to work the same way. Now we are back here. So there are also purple chests that you can get. I just don't have any. <laughs> so yeah, you see item fusion. I still have a couple here. I can make one and it takes a while. So 15 of these, 28 of these. This is gonna take a while, but it is nice to know that the only actual stamina farmable, direct direct stamina farmable one that you could get is actually the catalyst. So I do think that if you wanna ask people for a catalyst, there's a possibility that they might have extra, but at the same time, I think that they probably won't. I, I feel like they probably don't. Like they're not gonna give you extra of that. And what I'm saying that is for the, the secret society thing. So that's all on you guys. What do you think that uh, you do have to have the, the guild assisting you? Make sure that they're giving, like you're trying to target one of these things down at one at a time. So maybe until you get this maxed out, you ask for the, the gray version of this. You keep asking for the gray version of this as you're farming and doing your stages and trying your hardest to get this. And then when you're done, boom, you start asking for the gray version of this, which like I said, people will probably have a lot of, or you could, you know, work on both of this, whatever you want to do. I'm just letting you know that it's going to be significantly harder. Make sure that when you are using your stamina, uh, you just go straight for the gray. Don't, uh, sorry, you go straight for the blue. The blue will give you blue and green, and then you will be good on that. And then eventually, then you just focus on the money, which is, like I said, easy when you look at how much money you get through other uh, modes and other events, you'll be perfectly fine on money. Boom, unlock your exclusive crime brand slot, get your face attire, look real pretty, and then you're good to go. I should be able to finish this out before the end of this month, and that would mean that honeymoon phase some honeymoon phase currency but i was able to get two phase threes and somebody if you guys have any tips that you want to spread to the community i actually might post this on reddit by the way uh so if you have as if you guys have any tips that you want to also spread it'll be really good to put this up so multiple people can see how to get our characters maxed out efficiently i don't even think that and that's why you see a lot of people that uh their face their phase three level 70 they don't level up any further than that i think that people just want to have multiple phase three characters and i think that that's perfectly fine it does suck that you have to use the marks to unlock it uh the actual phase three passive but that's another you know that's another story <laughs> we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there Anywho, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.